Hi everyone, it's Cars Guide Do It Yourself. Today I'm going to show you how to replace rear brake pads and this in Renault Laguna 3rd generation with electric parking brake. And you can do it at home using all common tools, really. I will show you how to handle with it. So let's get started. Many people are afraid to touch brakes with electric parking brake, but there's nothing to afraid. In this car we have very simple system. First, get in the car, turn on ignition, but don't start the engine. Then press brake pedal and push downwards handbrake switch. Turn ignition off. Warning light will appear on instrument cluster that handbrake is off. Then take cart with you. Now you can safety work with rear brakes. Okay, now loosen rear wheel bolts and jack up rear of the car, put jack stand underneath and remove the wheel. We will use good quality brake discs with bearings already pressed in. They are painted with grey paint to prevent rusting. Also while using this disc will be looking much nicer because paint will be scrapped only in places where pads are. Brake pads are ceramic. They are a little more expensive, but they have less dust and they tend to last longer compared to standard brake pads. We have to remove spindle nut dust cover. Take flathead screwdriver and hammer. Wedge screwdriver behind dust cap, then give it a twist. Then break it loose spindle nut with 36mm socket and breaker bar. Remove caliper spring clip. Grab flathead screwdriver and remove spring. Next, we need to remove two plastic covers. Under caps are caliper guide pins with 7mm Allen key head. Remove them as well. That's how they look like. Don't forget to clean it off. To take off the caliper from place, we need to use screwdriver. Pry with screwdriver, but be careful, don't damage piston dust cover. Now remove brake pads, look they almost worn out. We don't want to caliper to just dangle by the brake line and disturb in other works, so instead we want to find the right place. Grab some wire and tie them to suspension spring. Now we will remove brake carrier. Use 18mm socket and breaker bar, break free two bolts and unscrew rest of the way off. Brake carrier is free. Now take off spindle nut and slides down the brake disc. Wow, it looks really bad. Okay, 
so we can start to clean everything. Take brake cleaner and wash all around spindle. Now take metal wire brush and start removing rust. Just be careful, there is an ABS sensor, don't damage it. To make job easier I use power tool. Because it looks really ugly I decided to paint metal cover with some anti-corrosive paint. Now we clean up our brake carrier. Using metal wire brush remove rust and if necessary use metal file. Then put brake anti seize grease on place where brake pads meet carrier. Time to take care on the brake caliper. Check under rubber dust cover how piston looks. We are looking for any corrosion under rubber. This one is okay. Remove all the acid brake dust, dirt and grime. It can cause seize the caliper. Also rubber seals and dust cover will last longer. So now we will use brake piston compressor tool. This piston needs to be turned to compress. This one is inexpensive so it's worth to buy. This should feel nice and smooth all the way. It means that everything is fine with brake caliper. At the end it should feel difficult to turn, that means you got to the end, so loosen it up. Clean guide pin mounts. Use silicone grease for guide pins. Add some but not too much inside guide pin mount and on guide pin themselves. Move couple times back and forward to spread grease inside. Same thing with second. Once again clean spindle with clean towel. Brake disc instruction says to add oil on spindle. Take a clean towel and brake cleaner and clean brake discs from both sides. Ok, now we can install it. Just slide it on spindle and tighten spindle nut with 280 Nm torque. Put metal cap on, break this. Now we can install brake carrier. Tighten two bolts with 105 Newton meter torque. Time for new pads. To prevent squeaks, add grease on brake caliper where he meet pads and put caliper on place.
tighten guide pins and put on back plastic caps. Go inside the car and press brake pedal couple times to remove clearance between pads and disc. Install brake caliper spring clip, make sure it's on place. Put wheel back on and tighten all wheel bolts. Now we can engage electric parking brake to check if it works fine. And that's it, job's done. Thanks for watching.